language. This is a tough one. Uh, right in the program is one of the first programs that run, and it runs the application and it opens the form, that sort of thing. So in settings, I'm saving a culture definition, whether it be English or German or whatever. And the current culture is like the comma for a decimal and the dollar sign and, and that sort of thing. And the UI culture is the interface that we see. And we need to set both of those to the language that we want to do. Now, under uh, resources, you have main resource file. That has all the pictures and stuff like that. Um, and then the settings is like the window settings and vehicle settings and all those other settings. Under each form, you have a resource file of where each control is and what the control contains. Let's take a peek at one. And that sort of thing, the pictures that they have. Now, if we look at the form about, then each of these is just a text box and the button is a control. However, under, if we select the window and then now go to localize, it's true, and there's a default, which is your Windows operating system default. And if we set one to German, there, now if we change one of these, you can see that it's still in under form about, is just a two. But if we change this to discussions by, See, now it created a German resource file, Deutsch resource file. And you can also see that the design now, we're designing the German version of this form. If we go back to the default one, then this will say discussions at. And this way, there, it keeps track of the difference from the default. And if there is no um, extra one added in here, then it just uses the default. So that's kind of cool. So you can just develop as you go and add accordingly. If you make changes here, it makes changes on all of the forms. If you change the size of this in the German form and format it, you can format it in German, you can format it in English. There's a lot of ways on the web that are very confusing on how to do languages and manually filling all this stuff in, but .NET does a lot of this for you. The only tricky part is in these sort of things where we have a pop-up and there's strings that come up, then you have to use a global string and a resource manager within the code to control the strings. In those little windows, that, the time of windows that pop up, we don't know what they're gonna say ahead of time. So there are variable strings. So we need to, just the name of this string, and then you would have one of these in English and then one of these in French, or sorry, in German or French, or Chinese, or Arabic, or whatever you want. But the name of the resource is common to all of them. The uniqueness is in the, um, in the value for that string. So what do we end up with? So now we have file and display and that sort of thing. So I created one of these for English and for German. Of course, it exits. And now it's in German. That part isn't, but I haven't added them all. Andreas is going to laugh at me with my terrible German, but uh, we can fix that later. It's getting the concepts down. So now you can also notice that both the UI and UI culture and the culture culture info, uh, we have the decimal, even though I'm using Canadian English operating system, the entire language now and culture is set accordingly in this. So it's a pretty slick way of doing the languages, but uh, probably not completely necessary, but some guys on the farming forum in the UK specifically asked if it can be done in German and they wanna change it to German. So, but I think this is a better way because as soon as I make one change, then they have to make all the changes. So pretty cool. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll throw it up on the dev with the German English and uh, take a look at the code if you want. And that's it.